tell us about the actual moment that uh, you were told to retire and what you felt. Oh, and, um, I'd just gone back to training on Thursday and uh, my doctor, Martin Raft, he actually sorry, the specialist, uh, Bernie Kwok from Prince of Wales, he rang and left a message on my mobile phone. I'd just finished a weight session. I thought I'd be playing hopefully mm. this week and he uh, said that I'd need to go and visit him and take my wife. So when you don't go with uh, many football injuries with your wife, so... I figured there was a problem then and I rang up my doctor, Martin Rafter, the club doctor, and he basically just told me what he was going to tell me. Has it been determined whether it is a, a genetic thing or is it something that, that the, the, the sport has contributed to or, or both? I think it might maybe both. He said because of all the knocks that could have thinned. I got my spinal canal thin and uh, he said but it could be you could have been born with it or for all the knocks. So either or either. But the thing that he first cleared me actually uh, last week on the Tuesday to resume training and but he wanted to watch the tape first so he sort of said, said to our doctor that I could start training but uh, no contact because he just wanted to check a few things then when he seen the knock wasn't very bad he went with some other specialists and that's when they checked the x-rays again It just goes to show that there's life after football and, uh, and you really have to sit back and, and think you know what, what you're going to do after football you can't play forever and um, it, made, it was a big decision but uh, a lot of people sort of sat up and took notice yeah, it was good. I got great support. I, Steve Carter rang me on behalf of the Penrith blokes and Laurie Daly, Ricky Shield, lots of people rang and Johnsy wrote something in the paper and you really appreciate that because uh, I suppose when, when it comes to the day and you're finished, it's really sad, but if you finish sort of a bit early and you hope, it probably makes it a bit sad of it. I was in Northern Territory last night for the opening of their rugby league and I met a guy there, his name was Stem and he's in a wheelchair, he was a hooker and he broke his neck playing and he said to me, he goes, mate, he goes, I'd do anything to walk again. And he got actually just got a water life membership. He was a ter terrific bloke and still loves league, but to see him in the wheelchair was, was pretty sad. moment in your career when you really thought, you know, you know this is great playing this game, when, you know, what, what moment would that be? Uh, I think our win against East in 99 in the semi-finals was really good. I enjoyed that. I, I don't know why, but I really enjoyed that one. And <laughs> Wouldn't have been beaten the night. Not that I didn't like East, so, <laughs> you know, they're good guys and that, but I suppose they sort of over the years have sort of bought plenty of players and they sort of had to pinch a few of our players over time and I think we went in as underdogs and we got a win. But all the close games, like money can't buy the feeling, like against North Sam, we get into the grand final. Just all the real close games and all your mateship when you, these guys aren't like when you hang in there and you're down by two and you're, score with a minute to go or you hang on the other team's attack and you win by one or two all the money in the world can't buy that feeling and that's what I'll probably miss the most apart from going to training with all the boys and having a laugh What does the future hold or what hopefully would you like the future to hold? I, I've got a desire to get into coaching and obviously the media is good too so I could just basically stay in football but um, things are looking pretty good at St George and hopefully uh, I'll be with the club for a lot of years yet and they're keen to have me there and they've been really loyal to me since they've I've sort of been on a pretty good wicket over the previous years and they're going to continue to pay me that this year and hopefully sign me up for a few more years and, and to get by I've been coaching. So they've been really great. How, how would you like to be remembered? How would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I was probably just only just a steady player, I suppose, but probably a good bloke and a lot of remember as a decent bloke. I'm always trying to help people out, I suppose. That'd be and that's, that's the most yeah. important thing, though.